Hey, have you ever heard about prions? Let's talk about them. But first, we gotta understand proteins. Proteins are our body's building blocks. They are long chains of amino acids decoded from our DNA. Once fully constructed, these long chains of molecules transform themselves from their inactive state into a three-dimensional shape called their native state. This brilliant process is known as protein folding. And it sounds like a piece of cake, right? Well, the process is not perfect because sometimes, although extremely rarely, these proteins can get mixed up, resulting in a prion or a misfolded protein. Prions are the evil twin of our proteins and they love to scrap. They have no functions in our bodies and are extremely harmful molecules. They clump up in our nerves and neurons, forming amyloids associated with diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, Alpers syndrome, or FFI. Prions take it one step further though. These molecular bandits have a secret <laughs> super weapon. Whenever a prion comes in contact with a healthy protein of its type, it passes on its misfolding, duplicating itself even when lacking DNA. This creates a degenerative domino effect, where the more prions there are, the more prions these prions make, resulting in a doomsday scenario at a molecular level. That doesn't mean that prions are no good. Like everything in nature, they can be studied. And our understandings of healthy protein folding exist in part thanks to them. With this breakthrough knowledge, we could enhance our body's immune system and our neural pathways. We could even synthesize super proteins to serve as their counterpart. In the same way vaccines are the countermeasures to diseases and infections. Prions are more than just tiny supervillains. They are an open invitation to understand the inner workings of our bodies. We just have to learn what makes them tick and put that knowledge into good use.